Oh, hello, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Now, you'll not be expecting me to pop up tonight, but I thought I just would, because we have so much to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. So this might not be the full one-hour show, but there's been so much argy-bargy on social media and on Facebook Live at the moment that I thought I'd just come and see if I could put your mind at rest what we're talking about here is should Scotland have another independence referendum? Now, if you've got an opinion on this, feel free to come on and actually pitch in. So there you are. We're at our 89th show anyway, so I thought there wouldn't be any problem with having show 89. If you've just joined us, then a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. That's the one everyone's talking about. That's the one everyone's watching. The country's top broadcast platform. I'm Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's top broadcaster, as well as being the world's most humble man. But you all knew that anyway. So lovely to have you with us. As I say, you probably won't be expecting me to pop up, but that doesn't actually matter. We have a lot to talk about. Here's Paul Whiteman saying hello. Hello, Paul. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Welcome to Scotty O'Clue's little, probably a little bit of a shorter broadcast than you're used to. But I thought it was important that we did look at it. So there you are. So excellent. So spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live with you as a special program on Scottish independence. Should Scotland go to the polls again on the referendum? Very, very important. And should Scotland be an independent country? Gareth Owen says, hi. Hi, Gareth. Dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff, I say. Shorter the better, Mr. Scotty, says Paul Whiteman. Absolutely, Paul, because you'll have to go to your bed. I know you go to bed early. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky-doo, says Andy McClory. Dinky-doo, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, excellent response, guys. Very nice to have every single one of you with us, of course. And do let people know. Do get sharing. I'll just do a bit of sharing here and let you know that we've actually started our broadcast tonight and that we are discussing the independence thing. Very, very important. Hello, says Elaine Sylvester McNeil. Hello, Elaine Sylvester McNeil. Lovely to have you with us. I'm Scotty McClue, and we are saying dinky do. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing. Now, feel free, guys. You can share as much as you like at any time during the broadcast. As I say, you probably won't be expecting me, so it's not really a big problem. I'm just sharing at the moment. If you wonder, what's this man actually doing? I am just sharing as we speak. Lovely to have you all with us. A super response, folks, and that is excellent. So there we are. I'm just going to share. Let everybody know that we're on. That lets you know there it goes. That's gone on, and uh, I'll share with the group as well and let them know that we are live now. I'll share to the Scotty McClue page. Very important. Independence! All the way, says James Ridley. So no doubt there, James, what you're looking at. Excellent stuff, I say. Got the new car the day, Scotty, says James. Excellent, James. How's that looking? Tell us a bit more about it, and uh, we can tell the nation. Hi, Scotty. Spoke to you many years ago on Scott FM, says Derek Doran. Derek, lovely to have you with us. This is a bit of a surprise pop-up. I have to say. So Scotty McClue with a quick pop-up just to say dinky-doo to all of you. John Simpson watching. Now, John Simpson, I know you've got opinions and all this, so feel free to come and actually tell us. I'm just going to put live now. There we are. Live now. And then what I'll do, I'll share this, and that will get you all sorted out as soon as possible. Hello, says Stephen Cairns. Hello, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. So there we go. Just sharing, folks, as we speak. And a uh, per perfectly natural thing to be doing, I say. So there we go. And uh, I'll put it out onto uh, the live streaming. There we are. Facebook live streaming. Sorted out. Marvellous. Marvellous stuff. Excellent. 
There we go. That's go live, and that will let people know that we are live now. Wonderful. Right. Excellent. And as I say, at any point, you can all share. Hello, Scotty, says Brian Keswick. Hello, Brian. Uh, got a Renault, says uh, James Ridley. A Renault Insignia. Sounds very, very nice. Uh, why are you on tonight, McClure, says Ronnie Stevenson. Just popped up, Ronnie, because there's been a lot of argy-bargy today about should Scotland go for another independence referendum. So there you are. And I thought we may as well get on and discuss it. Otherwise, what would be the point in McClure? That's what I say. If people don't feel free that they can come on at any time and discuss it. So there we are. So a bit of an extra bonus, Ronnie Stevenson. Excellent stuff. So that's why... McClure has appeared at this time of night, just as Crocodile Dundee would say, let's see who's out there. Um, so excellent stuff, marvellous. Now, if you're watching, do feel free to come on. I'm just doing a bit of sharing at the moment, just to let everybody know that we're on. I think it's very, very important. And as I say, you can do the same. So no problem at all. Uh, I'll just pop in here live now live now McClure live now I know you expect me we're normally on Sunday nights and we are on on a Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp that's nine o'clock British summertime haha -ha, I'm losing my marbles a Vauxhall insignia sorry says James Ridley not at all James if you don't know what you've bought it is not a problem I can tell you that so there we are uh, I'm just going to uh, share it out, guys. As I say, you do the same. There's Dee Gurley. Hello, Dee. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. A wee bonus here tonight. So excellent stuff. Uh, spread the word. Tell, 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 tell that Scotty McClue is here with you saying Dinky Doo. Referendum or a neverendum, says Ronnie Susan. Absolutely, Ronnie. Is it a referendum? Or a never ending, right? And uh, more, uh, more sharing going on here. So if you're wondering what's going on, it's because McClue is sharing this to let everybody know that we are on. Ed Strang Steele's watching in America. Dinky do Ed, lovely to have you with us. Scotty, one word answer, please. Says John Simpson. One word answer to what? Do you mean yes or no, John? Is it getting on uh, for? Uh, for your here we are here he's here excellent i'll just like your comment so there we are is it getting on for your bedtime so first class gordon roddick hi scotty good to see you midweek hello gordon dinky do one of scotland's finest broadcasters watching right there gordon roddick a very very fine man who's going to win the champions league says james ridley ah james if i knew that I'd be able to uh, guide you towards the bookmakers. Not that I approve of gambling, to be quite honest, but there we are. We have to take a chance on things sometimes. Right, uh, who have I got here? I'm just carrying on sharing, guys. And as they, you do the same. Hi, Scotty, any chance of a wee charitable plug for Seth Sports Bonus Ball? Uh, Facebook, search it. Seth, S-E-F, Sports Bonus Ball. Paul Sefton. Of course there's a chance of a wee plug, Paul. Otherwise, what would be the point in social media, I say? Right. Uh, more sharing going on here, guys, just as we speak. <coughs> First class. There we are. That's it, Sharon. I'll just pop up that I'm live now. And that will let everybody know. Live now. Yeah, you've got to, uh, got to keep popping that in. Happy 92nd birthday to Stanley Baxter. Says Alex Robertson, a legend. You know, I was just thinking about Stanley last week and wondering um, what he was up to. We haven't seen him for some time. He is an absolute showbiz legend. Wonderful guy. When I was younger, Stanley Baxter was probably one of the biggest, brightest stars on television. Uh, so there you are. When I was younger, you'd never think I'd been young, would you? Marvellous stuff. Get sharing, guys. Let everybody know that McClure has popped up to say hi. And uh, I'd like to uh, take one or two of your points on the Scottish referendum. Do you think we should have another referendum on independence in Scotland? So let's have an intelligent chat about it. Always intelligent when McClure is on, and we like that. Right, uh, what have we got here? Share on your page. 
I'm just sharing it on the page here, guys. Share it on Dinky Doo. Let everybody out there know what's going on live now. So there we go. Dinky Doo's got it. Uh, lots of you watching. That's fantastic. Feel free to come on. Scotty says Jim Thompson. Hello, Jim. Dinky Doo. Yes, it is me. Tis me, Scotty McClue. There we go. I'll just move this so you can get it going at the right angle for you. Oh, pus doesn't look too big there. Uh, appreciate it, my friend. Always share your live feeds. You're the man. Paul Sefton, it's a great pleasure. Lovely to have you with us. If yes, I'll take your word for it. If it's no, then you're going to have to justify it to me, says John Simpson. So, John Simpson, I shall take that as a yes from you to independence. D. Gurley, yes, we need independence. So, there you go. Jim Thompson, what's he got here? What did the drummer call his twin daughters go on jim surprise us excellent stuff there we are do let us know lovely to have you all with us guys it's just mcclue has popped up just to ask the question should scotland have another referendum for independence uh, anna one anna two jim thompson anna one and anna two Excellent stuff. Does anybody remember, if you're watching from Scotland, do you remember Fran and Anna? How good was that? Absolutely fantastic stuff. Fran and Anna. And uh, can you remember what Fran and Anna did? Scotty, a bit random, but uh, I wish you a long and healthy life. Um, how would you like to be remembered, says Paddy O'Gormley. I would just like to be remembered, Paddy, as somebody who loved people. So there you are and uh, all that sort of idea and if, if somebody says they don't like me it doesn't matter it's not a popularity contest it's a broadcast all right so there you are so somebody that loved people and wanted people to be informed educated and entertained i don't think that's too much to ask can i have some hearts please from you come on why don't you all get tap 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 de tap tap de tap de tap on there and let us know what is what fantastic stuff i'll just do another share let's just keep sharing and let people know what is what share now on your timeline tremendous respect scotty all the best thank you do thank you john simpson are you off to your bobos because i know time is uh, is on the wane as the man said when the grandfather clock told on the wee one were Fran and Anna twins or just sisters? They looked very alike, says Jim Fergie Ferguson. I'm not actually sure, Jim. I'll put this out to the nation. Perhaps Alex Robertson could answer that. Scott Beadle, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. Yes. Well, listen, Paddy O'Gormley, it's a bit random. Me actually popping up Facebook Live midweek. So excellent stuff. You can call it a Thursday midweek, can't you? Dinky do, says Scott Beadle. Dinky do to you, Scott Beadle. Now, guys, keep sharing this. Let everybody know we're on. Scotty McClure, the best and funniest broadcaster ever, bar none. Missing you, mate, says William Bell. William Bell, lovely that we're back together again chit chatting. That is excellent. And as I say, let the world know, everybody. Share with your groups, share with your followers. If you're on LinkedIn, if you're on YouTube, if you're on any of these social media websites, let them know that Scotty McClue is back with you saying dinky do live on Facebook Live. And uh, there's some pretty good news floating about. There are lots of meetings taking place with very senior broadcasters. So uh, don't be surprised if you see and hear a lot more of me. And if you don't like it, then that's your problem. Okay. So there you go. Hi, my husband is Scottish, says Jueline Regina Grossi Ross. Jueline Regina Grossi Ross, lovely to have you with us and dinky do to you. Cal says, Scotty, that lamp looks like an earring. Which particular lamp? The one behind. There you go. Yes, I put it on there. It's excellent stuff. Uh, Fran and Anna were sisters, says Alex Robertson, and they were two years apart in age. So there you are. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to our ad hoc broadcast. Right, bit of a pop-up 
from me, Scotty McLuhan, on a, a Thursday night. I normally am on Sunday nights at 9 o'clock sharp British summer time. In the winter, of course, spring forward, fall back. That would be Greenwich mean time. So there we are. <coughs> Julene Regina Grossi Ross says, yes. Thank you, sweetheart, says Julene Regina Grossi Ross. Thank you, sweetheart, Julene Regina Grossi Ross. What a beautiful, beautiful name. I shall stop repeating it because I know you get to hear it many and time and oft. Excellent stuff. Any more hearts? Come on, get tap, 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 tap on your screen and let everybody know what is what. Just going to do a little bit more sharing here. No problem at all. And uh, you can all share as well. That is first class. Uh, we'll share to groups as well if you've got some groups. Your lampshade is squint, says Robert Patterson. Robert Patterson, are you sort of one of these OCDC AC people that uh, gets in a panic if something's not quite straight? I quite like it at a jaunty angle, you know what I mean? We jaunty angle, but maybe not. Maybe we'll just straighten it up to keep you happy. How about that? Is that straight now? So there you go. It lights the portrait of McClure, but you can't see it because there's no heat. I'll have to give you just a quick swatch. There you go. Quick swatch at McClure up there, and then back we go. Right. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, as I say, you're watching Scotty McClure live. We're global. We're worldwide. We're the world's top talk show. And uh, I am the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about Scottish independence. Should Scotland have another referendum? So if you've got a point in it, feel free to come on. My friend, Carlin Shields, says Derek Duran, was on Bridge of Allen today buying everyone lunch. Bridge of Allen. Lunch on Bridge of Allen won't be cheap, but a lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm Italian, and I love you repeating it, says Joeline Regina Grossi Ross. Excellent. See, si, scoozy, scoozy. Uh, Biddle, Scotty, Biddy, uh, Inky Do, Scott, Biddle, Biddle. Uh, so there we are. You've got, oh, B, I beg your pardon, Scott. Yes, I see you're trying to tell me. Well, Scotty is I-E and not Y. So that's us quits, uh, Scott, Biddy. Excellent stuff. Uh, got a Drysdale watching. Come and join us. Anne Marie Patterson says hello. Jolene Regina Grossi Rose. She uh, she sent me a lovely heart there. Um, women wear mini skirts back. Wore mini skirts back twenty years ago. Yes, they did. You're quite right, Scott Biddy. So nothing wrong with your eyesight and your memory. You're the best and funniest broadcaster. What happened? Says John Mackey. What do you mean? What happened? You mean I'm not the best and funniest now? Oh! There we go. Me, oh, milk for the pussycat. No, um, nothing happened, actually. We wondered. It was nothing I said or did, I can tell you. So we wondered, because Scotty McClue was so popular, if something went on behind the scenes. Very strange. Definitely have another referendum. It's what the people want. Opinion polls prove it, says VJ Jukerum. You know, they do. I would say to people, don't listen to any pro-unionists. Now, I'm not political, as you all well know, but I do want what's best for Scotland. And um, I think that uh, economically, Scotland could certainly do extremely well if it hung on to its own income. So there we go. Right, you're awesome, says Jolene Regina Grossi Ross. So are you, Jolene Regina Grossi Ross. You are awesome as well. See, si, see. Si. Uh, Scotty, any chance of one of your caps with your autograph to auction off for funds in aid of Seth Sports for kids community sports? Paul Sefton, I get asked this all the time, and I'm so sorry, I would have no bonnets left if we auctioned them off. I um, remember two little tin badges of Scotty McClure on it going for £600. And this rather silly woman said at the table, she said, well, what you don't end up with eggs? They might go for nothing. And I said, well, we'll see. They went for £600. Um, they were uh, just little tin badges, you know. 
Uh, so there we are. So uh, I haven't anything at the moment, Paul, but once we get back into the swing of everything, because there's going to be a lot of movement on Scotty McClue, and uh, once we get back into the swing of that, we'll get the merchandise going. You can get some mugs and some badges and maybe some caps, and you can auction them off a Scotty McClue cap. Remember, you're signing a new video in HMV in Argyle Street. It was Stoddart, says Graham Henry. It was Graham. It was stowed out the door and stout through. And I remember uh, my agent and I had gone for a wee cup of tea. Uh, the wonderful Bill McMurdo we'd gone for a wee cup of tea. And uh, then we went over. He said, right, we better go. We said to the chap at four o'clock. And we went over. And there was this queue all the way along Argyle Street. And I said to him, there must be something on. And he said, what do you mean something on? This is for your video. Scotty McClue. Shout out to Nicky Ross and Erin Air Ramsey, says VJ. Of course, VJ, with great pleasure. Appreciate it anyway, pal, says Paul Sefton. Yes, Paul, I would love to give you something, but I would say I would no bonnets left. So there you go. But listen, you will do very, very well. Anyway, and then we went and signed the video in, I think, sold about 35,000 of these videos. We outsold Billy Connolly. I remember that we outsold Billy Connolly at the time. And uh, that, that was that. Terry Fuller, um, I do not know is the answer. So they are know nothing about that character at all. If you've just joined a very, very warm welcome, if you wonder what's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone talking about you are witnessing new television guys you'll never see a piece of live television like this unless one of the big television companies gets in touch with scotty mcclue and says we want you to do half an hour show on a friday night, say 11 till 11 30 live on our screens will supply the phone and uh, you know come and just clean up there you are um i've Got video, says Alex Robertson. Yes, the Scotty McClue show. Dinky do. Something went on behind the scenes. Now that's a statement no one can disagree with. Just hope nothing happens behind the scenes during the next referendum, says John Simpson. Let's hope not, John Simpson, but remember, some very powerful people do not want Scotland to go on its Todd. Used to listen to you on the video all the time when I was a lad. It made my day when I found your live stream on Facebook. Keep up the great work, says Jamie W. Litterick. Jamie W. Litterick, dinky do. It's lovely to have you with us watching the Scotty McClue show. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, which is perhaps the biggest broadcaster on the planet. So there we are. We did a show the other night, and I noticed, I think, 7,500 people have had a swatch at it. Now, you know, that it is what it is, I say. So uh, that's not too bad, is it? There's another one there that I think 22,000 people have had a swatch at. So keep watching Scotty McClure and keep sharing Scotty McClure, guys. Very, very important. Tonight's show, the purpose of popping up tonight with show number 89 was to say to you, do you think Scotland should have another independence referendum? Very, very important there. See if you can do that. Come and join us. Right, what have we got here now? Just going to do a bit more sharing, and if you can all do the same, let's see how we are for time. A wee shout out, please, Scotty. I'm from Hamilton, but I'm down in the Isle of Wight on holiday, says Alan MacDonald. Alan MacDonald, dinky do. Lovely to hear from you and the Isle of Wight. Excuse me, just a wee second, guys. Be back with you in two seconds. So there we go. Very, very hot in this studio, so just doing a little bit of personal care, giving my pus a mop doon. Uh, so there we are. So Isle of Wight, very, very nice to the cows in the Isle of Wight. Yes, there we go. They used to say what's brown and come seeming out of cows backwards. The animals, of course, the Isle of Wight ferry. Um, you're pro-independence, so you're up against the powerful people, Scotty. All the best. I'm behind you, says John Simpson. No, not at all. I'm pro-independence because it's the best thing for Scotland economically. I'm not getting involved in politics or anything like that. That doesn't bother me one single bit. But um, I think the people should stop listening 
to all that pro-union stuff because they've got an agenda they don't want Scotland to go because they know it's best for Scotland. And the, the problem is you've got one or two daft Scots themselves that don't see the big picture. Scotland contributes £40 billion plus plus to uh, the UK budget and gets back about, um, I think about half of that probably goes back under the Barnett formula. So I would like to see the Scotty McClue formula brought in. That's where Scotland makes whatever it can income wise and uh, hangs on to it. There you go, that's the McClue formula. So tell me about that one, dinky do. If you've just found us a very warm welcome, you're watching Steve McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. Scotty McClue, broadcasting for almost 40 years, 36,000 hours of live, unscripted broadcasting. And here we are on Facebook Live, the biggest platform on the planet. If uh, we can get the algorithm working properly um, with us, then we can go out to 2.8 billion people. Now, that's okay for starters, isn't it? There you go. Um, now, do feel free to come on if you're watching Mahir Pevral. You feel free to come on, of course, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live right now on Facebook Live. Saying, Dink you. Time for a share spot. Can everybody watching share right now? I shall do the same, so don't worry. There is no problem with that. Here we go, I say. Right, um, I've got uh, I've got several devices running here. That's why I might be looking away just for a little time, and then I shall look back, of course, and say hi to every single one of you. Um, just quick refresh there. Marvellous. I don't have my mouse mat, so there you are. I must get my mouse mat back. It is incredible, the mouse mat. All these wonderful things that are a little bit dated now. You know, this is what you see. Sorry, just uh, put my hand over. Here, here, Scotty, the population needs educated. So go on yourself. Well, McClue, you'll not get a better teacher than McClue. I have an IQ of 164, and um, there we are. So there's not much I can't tell you. And uh, if you want to be informed, educated, and entertained, spread the word about the Scotty McClue show. Fantastic stuff. Now, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing here, guys. So there we go. Uh, share. Marvellous. And I hope you're doing the same. <laughs> very, very important. Now, on the power line, that's it. Into a group. And we'll pick a couple of groups here and share with them. Um, so, uh Right, there we go. And as I say, you guys can do the same. Feel free to do the same. Uh, right, live now. And uh, I shall just put in the ref2 and get that going. There we go. I'm just going to share that, guys. And people can come and join us. Didn't you have a column in the Scottish Sun? Says Graham Henry. I did, Graham. And the Sun very kindly kept it going about. Two years after I'd left Scott FM, it was tremendous because it was a very, very popular column. It was a full page column on a Friday, Scotty McClue, and uh, it was very well read. Scotty, I'm selling a packet of polos. They're in mint condition. If you're interested, Andy Beatty, you're a wee tee he Don't give up your day job right now, though. Not quite yet, but we will work on it for you and get you more things there. Tremendous. So, yes, yes, I did. I had a column in the Scottish Sun. If you've just joined us, welcome. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep sharing. And as I say, you do the same, Scotty. Personally, I think politicians all over the UK should stop lying. Then everybody would be able to make a real educated decision on it all, says Paul Sefton. Paul Sefton, I could not agree more with you. I think we should have penalties for politicians if they tell us lies. My grandmother used to say you can be aware of a thief, but not a liar. And I've only met one bad person in my life. I was telling somebody that recently, and they said, well, you're very lucky because there's a lot of them out there. So there you go. Interesting, isn't it? But there's also lots of very fine people out there. And you're watching Scott right now. Come on, feel free to come on and discuss with us, right? Very, very important. What have I got here? 
I shall just keep sharing. And um, you can do your stuff right. Excellent. There we go. And as I say, you can all do the same. Not a problem. Right. Whoa, I've got some choice here, guys. I'll tell you that. <laughs> we can share with all these people. So, um, right. I'm just going to do this. There we are. The. Yep. Good. Ah, there we are. Excellent stuff. Right. And I'll just tell everybody that we're live now and they can come on and do their stuff. Yep. Very, very important. There we go. Good. And if you can all share. I shared, says Gaynor Rooney. Lovely kisses, Gaynor Rooney. I thank you for sharing. Fantastic stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scott Clue. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. One everyone's talking about. And one, everyone is watching. Spread the word, Roddy McLean. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Come on and join us and uh, give us the benefit of your wisdom. That's the whole purpose of the program, guys. I sent you a friend request, says Gainer. I'll get that, Gainer. Don't worry about that. Don't me. I get hundreds and hundreds of them. So there you go. I'm not being fresh or being smart pants or anything like that. That's just the cookie crumbles so there you are we get lots and lots of requests on facebook and there's several several new pages get yourselves on there also if you're on linkedin come and join me on linkedin come and join me on youtube the sky clue youtube channel get that in there excellent stuff michael mcguinn come and join us excellent stuff i would like to wave back to you but i'm frightened we lose the broadcast because uh, this is uh, a device is very, very sensitive. They are a very sensitive device. Excellent stuff. And we'll just do another share. There we go. Wonderful stuff. If you could all share too, that would be amazing. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster. This is the big one. The one everyone is talking about. The one everyone is watching. We're broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the World Stop broadcast platform life is what you make it if you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never heard of scotty mcclue i'll spell it for you capital s small c o t i e that's the scotty and the mcclue capital m small c capital c l u e that's the mcclue uh, give us your comments as you'll see tonight we're talking about should scotland have another independence referendum so do Feel free to come. I got your friend request, Scotty, but I'm thinking over buttons. You think over as long as you like. If you accept me as a friend, I'll be very pleased. And if you don't, I'll be just as pleased. So there you go. Not a problem. So you take your time. There is absolutely no rush. Uh, there are thousands upon thousands out there following and watching Scotty McClue in some shape or form. And remember, the Facebook Live is 1% of my broadcasting. So excellent stuff, 1%. And um, what about that? David Fisher, dinky-doo, feel free to come on and check out. Now, you'll all be going to your beds. So there will be a lot of that. I do understand. I'll just clear up. Does that look better? Or are you getting too much of McClue's fog? Of McClue's pus? There we are, live. Excellent stuff. No. Scotland shouldn't have another referendum, says Michael Doran. How about sorting out the education and health systems first? Well, Scotland's education system is still the finest in the world, right? Regardless of your opinion, education is obviously going through hoops all the time. Technology is changing. So there we are, and there are lots of movement. But Scottish education is still the finest. The poorest is actually the southeast of England. So there we go. So pop that in your pipe. The, the health service, very good. Scotland's health service is miles ahead of that south of the border. The National Health Service in Scotland. All right, so that's all sorted out. And it would get sorted out a lot better if Scotland was running its own affairs. Okay, very important. Also, of course, we need to keep the royal family. And this is a very, very big one. A lot of your um, independence people, are well-meaning but they don't realize they speak up about the royal 
family and we do need to keep the royal family very 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 well. they are the curators of the scottish crown as well as the english crown from 1603 and the monarchy is a scottish institution all right there we are no more referendum how would we defend ourselves there we are launch the waverly with mons and men strapped to the bow david fisher if you're a non-aggressive country what would you be defending yourself against all right if you have no aggression in you why would you be defending yourself all right there are many many other countries that get the title of aggressor scotland is not one of them all right and they uh, never actually had well, did yes go for it it says michael mcgridden uh, Graham, Henry, what about the fairies scotty well we're not discussing them tonight um although i do think people should think about looking after people who are on the heavy side take them out for a walk something like that what a surprise this show excellent and listen from the start when it's up on facebook says ben lucas absolutely ben it's just a wee pop-up nobody needs to stress either way and uh, I thought we'd have a wee surprise and discuss Scottish independence. So feel free to put your thoughts, guys. If you're into Scottish independence, do let us know what is what. And um, <clears throat> I've got the piano here. If you'd like a wee break, if you've had enough McClure just now, I'll give you a wee tune on the piano. So um, here we go. Melody for you. Uh, 133 at the pumps. High prices now. And going up. Brexit. Are we still better together now? No, we haven't been better together for a long, long time. All right, there's no better together. It might suit Westminster to have the two countries together, but from Scotland's point of view, Mrs. Thatcher, in her wisdom, has stripped Scotland. So a lot of money and investment needs to come back to Scotland, right? Because you took the money down to protect London. But London has become the subject of greed and grasping. And the uh, M25, uh, the uh, Orbital Road around London, is, is, still, uh, is, is like a car park. So there we are. Hi, Scotty. How are you? It says Gene Smith. Hello, Gene Smith. Lovely to have you with and Ding do. Uh, live that, says Jim Smith. Yes, absolutely live, my darling. There's been enough money wasted on never endums and enough friendships and families broken without any more. Need to start uniting our country against without dividing it further. Now, our country, um, Wilson JM, I think you mean Scotland. Our country is united. What we're looking for is a united, independent Scotland. All right? So there you are. Uh, get yourself in Britain's Got Talent, says John Adams. Oh my goodness, I nearly got into the final of Big Brother. But because I'd worked in television, they didn't want to take a chance. They should have done. Madness. Just noticed your live, Scotty. Throwing in a sneaky show in. Throwing a sneaky show in. Ah, well, dinky do. Dinky do, Stephen Wearmouth. Not a problem. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Uh, so excellent stuff. Now, uh, love to have you tonight. I thought it was important because there's so much nonsense gets posted um, and uh, about independence. And I thought, time to actually get the facts out there. All right? Very, very important. If, if you've got a point to make about independence in Scotland, do feel free. Pop your comment down and I shall read it out, give you a wee 
attention. If uh, everybody can go shading again, just going to check the time, guys. What have we got? Oh, my goodness me. It's time I want here. Time to dash off. Been lovely seeing you all again tonight. And uh, I'm just going to share one more and see if we can let everybody know what's going on. I'll share to the page. So there we are. Let everybody know it's live now. And if you can do the same, look out for Scotty McLean pages, guys. And uh, there we are, live now. And just let everybody know. Um, so fantastic. So there we are. Uh, Scotland has been divided from the last referendum. Scotty, up to all time to unite again. Wilson J.M., ye of little faith, you could unite the people in a heartbeat by giving them independence. Let them see and see, we're only going to be doing this for a few years if you want to name me a country that has gone back to a uh, westminster rule after they have gained independence if you can do that i'll be very very interested i even wonder if america would be better under the wing of scotland so there you go uh do you think you could maybe audition again for big brother might be different folk making the decisions said vj you're never it may well be for a second a bit. Uh, very hot in this studio, so I'll just do a little bit of uh, personal here. In other words, I'll give my bus a wipe down. Uh, Scotty, it's been great chatting as always, but I've got to go and get stuff done. Take care, says Paul Sefton. Paul Sefton, dinky do. The nation has to get stuff done, so my clue is going to push off. Thank you all for watching tonight. It's tremendous. Night, night, care, says D. Good. Night, night, D. Love to have you with us. Thank you. Do share this as often as you can to as many people as you can. And don't forget to end this is Scotty Doo saying, Take care of your dear selves. Dinky do. And I'll sing you the goodbye song. All right. Uh, I think the UK should be together, Scotty. It's not about one country running another, just about cooperation. Much like this breaks nonsense. Stephen Wearmouth, they want to talk that breaks at nonsense. The majority vote. Don't know just no more than them, so don't give me all that. Scottish people voted not have in it, only just over half of them, so it's very, very close call. That's why there should probably be another one. The people decided, no, the people didn't decide, just over half decided. Okay, the only way to unite Scotland is by that us accepting the result, getting on with it. Also, GM, getting on with what being serfs. Is that what we're getting on with? Right, I have to dash. Enough of this. There we are. Um, right, uh, goodbye everybody, goodbye. Take care everybody as you go. Goodbye everybody, of wait of the rain, au revoir, and a cheery oh. I'll play it out. Bye, everybody, and dinky-doo.